Love with the Waka B. Stand up and welcome Daniel O'Mara. Up. Guru, how are you doing? Ah, you guys are good. Yeah. Uh, you uh, nah, 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 We are dealing with Omara. Hey, Odosh Yeah, Odosh No, we have to address the whole issue of Odosh. Let me first start with that one, eh? Ladies and gentlemen, I told you of Guru. Aha, uh -huh, Omara, hey. Uh, this guy has folded 1,000 shillings professionally. You know when someone's giving you money, and then they fold 1K? <laughs> this guy gave me 1,000 shillings with both hands. He's like, take this 1,000. This is all of my savings. Hey, be happy. No, but it's good to have you guys here. Yes, Gulu University, it is nice to have you guys. Uh, tell that squad there to resolve their domestic issue quietly. Eh? Yes. Hey. I don't know why there's always, actually, there's always an actually guy wearing a raincoat in a club. <laughs> why? You guys. No, let me say this. Let me. I, I have to say it. I have to say it. We as northern, we as northerners, eh? as northerners. I mean, actually, and now because people say actually and now are different. Yes, yes, we are different. We are different. There's a few words we say different. Like an actually, a lawn will say a word idoha. An actually will say a bicharo idoha. You get. Cherokee gang can do it's the same word. Why are we fighting? Okay, but you see the difference I'm talking about. It is what it is. You have refused the word. Eh? No, no, we can dispute that later. We are all northerners. But the thing is, there's always someone in the club wearing a trench coat. Why? Someone in a raincoat. Lucky coat here to a club. No, 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 no. You can't wear a raincoat in the club. It's not raining anywhere. There's no water. So, eh, boss, I respect you, but eh, eh, dress like you're inside, not outside. This guy is dressed for potholes. It's good to be back in Gulu, by the way. I've, I've noticed you guys have changed a lot. Yeah. You remember the time when your women were always wearing sneakers? It is the one. Listen, this is one thing I've realized about Acholi. You guys have very sexy women, eh? Very sexy, very sexy, very sexy. Gorgeous, beautiful. I, what do you mean? Am I sure? I'm very sure. I can see in darkness, so I can see your women. The, prob the only problem is actually women will wear the sexiest dress and then put on sneakers. I don't know why. Very no, no. It's not because you're ready at all. You're ready to run. You have been dealing with war for 20-something years. You're like this. Even when you're dressing up in the mirror, you're like, oh my God, this look, this dress is so sexy. Let me see how it looks when I'm on my marks. Okay, now I can put on lipstick. Mwah. Meanwhile, it does, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. It's a beautiful thing. I think you should look your best every time. You guys, I'm from Kampala, by the way. And I've learned one thing. I respect the Acholi because you're the only other people who are as proud as the Baganda we are dealing with in Kampala. Do you guys know this? Acholi are proud. Acholi? No, not arrogant. You are proud. Acholi have this look like their lip is about to enter their nose. Constantly. Meet any Acholi who has money. They look like this. And I can even give names, Odonga Oto, Windolo, like they all have the same look. You know what I'm saying. You know exactly what I'm saying. They have that look of, mm -mm, you're not going to tell me what to do. <laughs> There's a swag. 
And I respect their choli swag. And I will allow. I'm from Lira. Eh? Uh, no, 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 no. See, the thing is, the Lao are not proud. We are stubborn. We are stubborn. We are just stubborn. Because we can. We have a whole world full of cars. Very different car models. All the cars in the world you can buy. Make money and buy a car or walk on foot. But what do the Lao want? Hero bicycle. Gary. Hero my bear. But one mera. In Lao, the whole village will respect you if you have a bicycle. But they'll see your car and man No, when you buy a car in Lao, they are like, that one is trying too hard. But that's the thing. We have to appreciate it. It is what it is. Because I'm telling you guys, and this is not me being tribalist, this is just me stating the facts. If you don't promote your tribe, your tribe will die. This is a fact. It's the reality. And I will say this in northern Uganda. You in the raincoat, first be quiet. Please. It's dry here. I know life is hard. Here's the thing. If you don't promote your tribe, you're going to have a problem. No, there's a reason why Baganda are very famous. There's a reason why Baganda are the people. Why Baganda are popular. Baganda don't apologize for their tribe. They don't apologize at all. Baganda will speak their language. Let me give you an example. How many of you grew up in Central Region? You are Choli, right? But you grew up in Central Region. You studied in Kampala. Do you realize you learned English in Luganda? You learned English in another language? Eh, no, it is very true. It's true. What tribe are you? You are Choli. You studied in Central Region. Let's do the alphabet together. This is a test. A, B, C, D. H, I, J. What do you mean L, O, M, O, N, E? What do you mean L, O, N, L, O, M, O, N, E? L, O, M, O, N, E, make What do you mean? L, O, N, O, M, E? Ah, ah. No. You, you see the problem? You see it. Inenuba, inenunu. Kope L, O, M, O, N, E. L, O, M, O, N, E. But L, M, N. It's L-M-N. What do you mean L-M-N? No, I'm going to tell you guys. This is the truth. You learn the, the nursery rhymes in Luganda. And it's a reality. One crocodile to say goodbye. Oh, and the croco, and the kuloko in the river. In the river now. What is a kulokodilo? What is a kuloko? Kulokodilo? It's crocodile. The teacher was a Muganda. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And you know, I don't judge the Baganda. I don't judge the Baganda. It's not their fault that they taught in their language. That's the language they understand. So even us as Northerners, we need to start teaching in our language. Hmm? When you say I'm in shit, you know I'm in shit. Put the chair. Put the chair in it. Have you guys ever heard MC Cash saying, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you've heard MC Cash say, who can say it for me? When MC Cash says, ladies and gentlemen, it sounds different. Most people say, ladies and gentlemen. MC Cash says, ladies and gentlemen. No, but this is why I respect the Baganda, because I think we have a lot to learn from them. Guys, stop quarreling on the table. Relax, okay? Ole, banana joe, bed ping, bed ping kere laboro ni. Sorry, Baganda, laboro is banana, not lab. Bolo. Eh, hey, work with me. But this is why I like going for karaoke night with Baganda, right? I like going for karaoke night with Baganda because these guys sing their feelings. They put their emotions. They involve it. One of my favorite songs of all time is by Boys to Men. It's called I'll Make Love to You. You guys know that song? If you're old enough to know the song, it goes like this. This is the English version. Close your eyes. Make a wish. 
and blow out the candlelights. Cause tonight is just your night. We're gonna celebrate mm-hmm. all through the night. Now that mm-hmm, is part of the song. Eh? I didn't add it as a northern. No. That, but this is the Muganda version because Baganda like to add ad libs. Mbu in tea. Baganda, the only person who says engineers, engineer. Yeah, those things. This is the Muganda version. Mbu, close your eyes. Kati, make a wish. Nti, blow out the candle lights. Wabula, tonight is just your night. We're gonna celebrate. Whoa, way, all through the night. Their feelings. Their feelings. But you have to respect it. And me, I say, don't be mad at another tribe. Don't get angry at another tribe for being proud of their tribe. But you can learn, eh? Ah, yeah, and I'm bad. Pack where I'm going to get it. Yeah, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Okay, the ticket of transport. It's not going to show up here. I'm going to pay you. Yeah, I'm going to. This guy decided to wear his garden as a jacket, but. It, it, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. You guys, seriously, eh? me, I came today to make sure that this was a learning experience. I want us as northerners to be at the level where you're so famous, they remember you for mistakes that worked out. Have you ever been in that position? Can I give you an example of a person who made mistakes that looked good? Michael Jackson made very many mistakes that looked good. And people celebrated Michael Jackson's mistakes. Like how many of you know the lyrics of Michael Jackson's songs properly? Any of them. Pick a song. Which song? Man in the Mirror. Uh Uh-huh. Now, there's always a part in the Michael Jackson song where he just starts making funny noises. Now, write for me those lyrics. Uh Uh-huh. Uh uh-uh, uh, he wasn't dancing. He was singing. I've seen people sing and dance at the same time. For you, you are saying what? No, here's why. I want to be as famous as Michael Jackson. And I think one of Michael Jackson was a choli. Anna Kobe. Michael Jackson was a choli. Kobada. He was in Tanzania. Koba teni kobada. Anabeda choli. Anabeda lao in the choli. Michael Jackson, you remember that song where he just started dunya, 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 dunya. Michael Jackson will be actually check over it, dunya. Clean me, you people, dunya. Eh? That guy could mix anything. It's the same reason why I think that a lot of northerners should be Muslims. Eh. No, hear me out. Hear me out. Here's my argument, right? The reason I'm saying this is because we have all heard people talk about Muslim public holidays. There's Eid El Fitri, and then there's Eid what? Eid Al what? Aduha. Uh huh. And then there's another one. There's Aduha. Me, I remember this one called Eid Al Adha. You know the one I'm talking about. Meanwhile, yesterday I met the first Muslim Luo. The first Muslim. You're Muslim? No, you just have many women. There's a difference. Yeah, there's a difference. Uh uh. No. You're a polygamist, not a Muslim. <laughs> and and you, have a, you have women and a beard. Shave your pubes. So, we have this thing where I have never met a, a, a Muslim from northern Uganda. I have never met them. Yesterday, I met a comedian who is a Muslim, and they are naturally, I wasn't ready. No, I was shocked. No, I've, this is the first time I've met a Luo Muslim, ever. I mean, when have you ever met a Muslim called Otim Sadiq? When? Ongo Muhammad. When? Hajati Angwai. Yeah. Like, 
There are some names you don't find. You never meet these people. I found one. So me, in the future, I want to be like Michael Jackson. I want to be famous. I want to build my thing, right? Omar Abdul. Yeah, that's a weird name, but thank you. I want to build a brand whereby in the future, everybody respects you, regardless of what you do. Eh? You balance it out. I want to be like Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is the only person who could sing in the studio as if someone was disturbing him and make the song sound good. I think Michael Jackson had a rat in the studio. Like someone was touching him. It's after midnight. Ah, something creepy is crawling in the dark. Under the moon. Like, ah, go away. Mm-hmm. In the dark. You start to scream. Like, there was a mix. Michael Jackson could make anything sound good. MJ. You even need to respect Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is the only guy who could take any song in any language and make it a hit. Michael Jackson could, I was waiting for my collab between P Square and Michael Jackson. I wanted the Do Me remix. Do Me. Michael died. That's what happened. He died. I wanted the Do Me remix. You guys know the Do Me. The P Square song. You guys said the Do Me, Do Me, Do Me. Like, yeah, it's a nice Nigerian song. Here's the Michael Jackson. You gotta say the do me. Ow! And the way you do me. <laughs> gotta love the way you do me. Ah, do me. Do me. Eh. And I love the way you do me. Eh. Eh. Do ya. Do ya. Ah. You feel the vibe. You guys are playing. You're playing. You people don't know how to become famous. You have to build your own brand. Build your brand as a choli. Miaks it in. Because imagine Michael Jackson doing one of those random choli nursery rhymes from northern Uganda. Not even a choli, just a northern Uganda rhyme. Tongwana gweno, tongwana chel, tongwana gweno, tongwana rio, tongwana gweno, tongwana dek. You know the basic song, right? Yeah. Tongwana gweno, tongwana chel, tongwana gweno. Mix it in. Like this guy could make anything sound sexy. Like I took a song. Nah, you guy, I'm going to pay for this later. I'm buying you drinks. Eh? Eh, you people, when, when did actually women start looking like this? I, I, I'm not ready. No, no, I've seen an actually woman who isn't wearing sneakers. She's in high heels. This one came out to party. I'm with you, eh? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to miax those babies. It's like when people from Juba have babies with Baganda. Yeah. Those things. Simakula Deng. Yeah. The names are going to be weird. But you need to respect Michael Jackson. The reason I keep joking about Baganda is because I think they're the closest we come to MJ. Like one of my favorite nursery rhymes from Baganda is the Axe Imbazi. You know that song? It, no, no, no. We can sing along. Axe Imbazi, banana. How many Baganda here? By show of hands. Put your hands up. Yeah, okay. There's like three of you, eh? But you know the song. Axe Imbazi, banana. Cap Chikopo. Elephant. Fish. Galo Muwala Ne House. Now the MJ version would be epic. Imagine Michael Jackson doing Nasere rhymes in Luganda, just walk up to the stage. Then first random things explode. Because <laughs> MJ liked doing random things. Eh? They didn't make sense, but they looked good. And the girl would say, ah! Then he grabs his family. And <laughs> it pains. Then he starts. Axe. Mbazi. Banana matoke. Cap chikopo. Duram gum. Elephant. Njovu. Fish. Chenyanja. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ne house and yumba sibalimba. Then the beat switches. Smooth criminal. Like you guys need to respect Michael Jackson. 
Now that's the kind of vibe you need to have. If you're going to be remembered as a human being, eh, you need to look like you're important. Which is why I understand. Actually, women dress sexy, but then they wear sneakers. You need to look good, but when if something happens, be ready to run. I can understand that. Meanwhile, you actually take being, being a hard person too personal. Eh? You take it too far. No, no, no. I, I know Northerners are hard people, but you people take it too far. I went to a pork joint that was under construction. No, I went to a pork joint. Let me repeat. I went to a pork joint that was under construction. Have you ever gone to a pork joint? It's on the main road. I think it's on the... Yeah. They're still building it. They're still building it. Have you ever been to a building that is being constructed, but they're cooking inside? Food is being made. They're cooking pork, right? And they're building. So you see a signpost that says, pork available, 20,000 per kilo. Beware of falling debris. As in, this is the only place I've ever tested cement-flavored pork. <laughs> like, I beat something and I'm like, that is not a bone. That is not, no, that, that, that is, it tastes like pork, but it's cement. And I ate it with pride. You guys are hardcore. Meanwhile, this is the only district I've been to where they bring you. The only city. So you guys take it personal when I don't say city, eh? Okay. This is the only city I have been to. Where they serve you pork with cassava, you know, bananas, mogo, sauce, and cabbage, and meat, but no water. What do you guys have against water? This guy served me a whole platter of pork. Zero water. You can't add OD on pork. I'm sorry. Like, there, there, there's no, I can't. Someone said, um, we like OD. You guys, there's a limit to how much you can use OD. OD has a limit. You can add OD to chicken. You can add OD to beans. You can add it to fish. You can add it to beef. OD in pork. I mean, we need to talk. We need to talk. It's very, ra- you guys are adding random things. This, this is how I nearly poisoned our, our house help, by the way. And I'll conclude with this. I have a story of our house help. Very good guy, right? I don't want to say house boy. You say house help. A executive consultant. We had a house boy called Okelo Polycap. Say the name with me. Nga? Okelo Polycap. He wasn't the most intelligent person. He wasn't very smart. He's the guy who would uh, try to steal a DVD from the DVD player while we were watching the movie. Eh? He wasn't very intelligent. He wasn't smart. He's that guy who would see indicators and you tell him, is the indicator working? And he says, yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. That guy. He wasn't very smart. But Polycap was loyal. He was very loyal. And he had a friend called Damien. Now, Damien was his boss. For us, we were his neighbor. So as neighbors, we used to see Damien and Polycap having a good time. Damien liked Polycap. He was a German Muzungu who used to come to Uganda. And Polycap would always work and do very well. So one day, Damien asked Polycap, Polycap, what do you want as a present for being so good at running the house? Polycap being the lao that he is, of course asked for the one thing that most lao want. Going on? Gali, eh, hey. hero Gali, my bad, but one matter. Eh, hey. Polycap asked for what? A bicycle. So Damian is like, all you want is a bicycle. Polycap is like, yes. So Damian tells him, Pomshi, kere Pomshi, eh, hey, you have to, eh, hey. because a bicycle is not complete for a lawn if you give it to them without the pump. Kere Pomshi. So they put the Pomshi. So Damian tells him, you want a bicycle? Polycap is like, yes. So, Damien says, okay, when I go to the border to pick my car, I have a Mercedes I'm importing. Mercedes SLR SMG. You know those cars that sound like circumcision campaigns, eh? <laughs> yeah. So, when it arrives at the border, we'll go, we get my car, and then we get your bicycle. So, they drive to the border, they reach there, they find the car. Damien finds this car, it's a beautiful Mercedes. Then he looks at Polycap. Polycap has got his bicycle. Polycap comes. You know how long walk when they're excited. 
Ole ya no gali. He was one of those lion who speaks slowly. Jarankelo jari. Thingy. And now Damian looks at him and he's like, ah, ole, boss, you 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 can't put the bicycle in the back of a Mercedes. Eh? So what we are going to do, we have three options. Damian didn't want to leave Polycarp behind. He just wanted to tell him, leave the bicycle here and we can deliver it. But no. He said, number one, I can tie you. I put a chain on the back of my car and on the front of your bike and I pull you all the way to Kampala. From where? Busia. Polycarp is like, no. Tells him, okay, option number two, you ride your bicycle next to my car and I drive slowly, we go together. Polycarp is like, no. Okay, fine. Option number three. We wait, and then they deliver the bicycle via courier. Polycarp is like, no. Tells him, which one are you choosing? Says, fine. Put the chain. Chain the back of the car to the front of the bicycle. This guy asks him, are you sure? Polycarp is like, yes. So he's like, fine. So they start. This guy is thinking, yeah, I'm going to drive for like 10, 5 kilometers and then this guy will realize it's a stupid idea, right? Right? No, Polycarp was very excited. He was on the back of that car. So Damien told him, if I'm driving too fast, just ring the bell. Do what? Ring the bell, right? So they start driving. Remember, it's a Mercedes, a sports car. This guy is accelerating. He reaches 65 kilometers per hour. He hears the bell. Kring, kring, kring. He's like, hey, Polycarp, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me reduce speed. But he knows very well. Polycarp is going to give up. Yeah. They continue. 70 kilometers per hour. Kring, kring, kring. He's like, sorry, sorry, Polycarp, sorry, sorry, sorry. He reduces speed. Now, problems start when a BMW passes the Mercedes. For those of you who know BMW, that car passes and then the noise comes after. So it's like, mm. <laughs> but the actual car has gone. This is just noise. Yeah? It has, yeah. So this guy sees the BMW pass. Mm. He's like, ah, okay, I'm, I'm thinking a German would know actually. <laughs> so this guy just sits in the car. He rolls up the window and then starts chasing the BMW. Forgetting who is at the back? Okay, Polycarp. Uh -huh. So Polycarp is at the back. He's ringing the bell. Ring, 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 ring. But this guy can't hear him because he's sitting in the, in the, in the Mercedes chasing the BMW. Now they're approaching Mavira Forest. There's a policeman with a gun. Obviously a northerner because we are the best for the job. Eh? We are serious about our job. Standing there with a speed gun. So the first car comes. BMW, as usual. Mm. He looks at the gun. 120 kilometers per hour. He's turning to go and report. He sees the Mercedes. He's like, mm. 125. He's turning to go and report. He sees the bicycle. Kring, 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 kring. A hundred and thirty. <laughs> this guy goes and picks the radio call and he's like, Ole, I found it. Ah, pain young in a dirty mechanic. You will not believe what's happening here right now. I have just seen a BMW pass me doing 120 kilometers per hour. BMW passed doing 120 kilometers per hour. And I let it go. It's very fast. But it's a sports car. Behind it, there was a Mercedes doing 125. And he passed me. And you know, it's very fast, but you know, it's a sports car. But after them, there was a bicycle doing 130 kilometers per hour. And he was ringing the bell, telling them both to give way so he can pass. Afande, what am I supposed to do? Ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Enjoy your evening. <laughs> Take to look